This being one of your early works, Audrey, I wanted to ask you, did you take any art classes as a, as a young child? Not as a child, uh, but in middle school, I had a man called Cohans that was a fabulously interesting person. Uh, I started out, it was ballet, ballet, ballet. Uh, when I was about five years old and I had these ballet classes and they would say to the other students, look at her. And then they took me aside and they said, you will never be a ballerina. You have no annular ligament. In other words, I'm flat footed. Mm. They said, we can get you on plant, but you can't dance on plant. You would injure yourself. So I thought, well, I was so used to having something that Bell music is connected with ballet. So I decided I would be a concert pianist. And when I was nine years old, I pretty much had my mature technique and everybody was very encouraging. And they said, well, you have a big sound now because you're nine years old and you work and you work and you work and develop more musculature than most nine-year-olds have. But you will never be a concert pianist because there's a problem with the way my shoulders hook up around the back or something. And the power has to come from your back, through your shoulders, through your arms. And they said, it's not going to work. You can't be miked when you're a concert pianist. You won't fill a concert hall. Mm -hmm. So is that what kind of led you in the direction of doing fine art then? Absolutely. Because I was really devastated. And this very nice man said, Cohen said, well, hey, be an artist. I mean, it's an art too. And I said, okay. And that was how it started. Wow. So with this painting here, um, I noticed that well, as we go through, we're going to see that development of your work. Um, this being one of the earliest ones, were you trying um, to just replicate realism at this point in time and trying to learn about uh, control of the brush, the mediums and things like that? That's pretty much it. Uh -huh. At that point, I think I thought, you know, realism was everything. I think, uh, I, I think this was done when I was in middle school or something like that. And at that point, I think most kids mm -hmm. just think you get something. So everybody says, that is so real. It looks like a photograph. And that's kind of the end of art. Mm -hmm. But I did read a lot about the nature of oil paint. And, oh, I was so proud of that. I think at that age, kids love picky stuff. And they get something picky, picky, and they go, Oh, that's so beautiful. It's so picky. <laughs> and so I was really proud of that. But where I really was beginning to understand how oil paint works, and oil paint is not intrinsically a pretty medium. It's ugly. But there are various ways you can handle it to get various different effects that can be beautiful. And I was beginning to understand the way you work when you work with glazes here. So I'm kind of, uh, it's kind of a nice painting of the rope. It's too bad it has no body in it, but you know, hey. Uh, well, I mean, even if for being a young age, you can still see a high level of, within this painting, of the perspective going on. So that obviously came from practice, or was that something that you just inherently Oh, I don't believe in inherent, but there may be people, but not I. No, I just looked and looked and looked at paintings. Every time uh, my family went traveling, I would ask to go. And whatever the museum and whatever the level of art, just I would study how People did things. I think that arm is really funny because I put it in later and it's way, way, way too large. So I still wasn't on top of figuring out how the whole thing looked. I was working from part to part. Mm -hmm. nice.